Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. We have breaking news coming out of the Middle East uh, this morning, Al Jazeera, about four hours ago, according to this report right here, uh, coming out saying that Iran, using ballistic missiles, has struck uh, inside of Iraq an Israeli uh, secret base there, killing uh, four Israelis, or at least four of their operatives that are working there, wounding six. And also, we are getting reports uh, even a little bit earlier of two hostages also being killed. Let me take you right into this report here from Al Jazeera, and then we'll follow up also with Tanks the other report. In Syria and Iraq, which the U.S. is calling reckless. Washington has condemned Iran over the strikes. The Revolutionary Guard say they launched ballistic missiles that hit Israeli spy headquarters in northern Iraq. Missiles and drone attacks also targeted Erbil near the airport. At least four people were killed, six wounded. The Prime Minister of the semi-autonomous Kurdish region says the attack is cowardly. Tehran also targeted ISIL in Syria in retaliation for bombings in Iran earlier this month. Well, let's speak to Mahmoud Abdul Wahid. He joins us now. You can understand why Iran would target ISIL because ISIL is, of course, uh, as we have been hearing all along, a creation of both the United States and Israel, a fighting faction waging um, campaigns throughout the Middle East there. Uh, also, this report coming in, too, two captives killed in Israeli airstrikes in Qassam, uh, according to the Qassam Brigades. Uh, so we're going to, let's see, I want to play, I haven't really had a chance to look at this yet. I will be doing a, a further update later this evening as we go and contact some of our um, friends from around the world on uh, the Middle East situation, what's going on there. And also hopefully I can jump into a prophetical, uh, an, a prophetic, excuse me, a prophetical. <laughs> My lips are going way too fast this morning. A prophetic analysis of the situation as well. Um, we've got a video too we're going to be also loading up over on our Patreon channel. So we hope you'll be tuning in later this evening. Let's listen in to see what happens here. Stories from Tel Aviv and from Gaza. In a moment, we'll go to Hani Mahmoud. First, though, let's go to Sara Khairat in Tel Aviv. Tell us what we need to know about this video, Sara. And just a word, we, we're choosing not to show it. These are people who are captive and who are speaking under duress. But tell us what we need to know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is the second part of two videos. One was released overnight, uh, and then they released the second one uh, just in the last uh, few minutes. Now, uh, to give you an idea of who these are, the, they are three uh, young uh, individuals. One of them is a female, uh, two of them male. Yesterday, in the first part of the video, you saw the video of all three of them talking to the camera. It wasn't uh, clear when it was filmed, uh, sending a message directly uh, to the Israeli government and the Prime Minister himself, Benjamin uh, Netanyahu, saying you need to return us home as soon as possible uh, and blaming them uh, for the situation there in terms of uh, airstrikes and saying that they will possibly die. Then the second part today, uh, you hear from the female uh, who says uh, that they had been hit several times by airstrikes, that they had actually been buried when the building they were held in uh, was hit, uh, and then uh, says that Al Qassam Brigade managed to uh, take them out of the rubble and it was when they were relocating uh, one of the males was killed and uh, second and also the third one um, say and then at the end of the video you see that they are uh, dead so uh, it's going to be incredibly hard for the families mm. to see this and if anything uh, let's remind you that yesterday was a hundred days the kind of language just wanted to kind of play that for you. <clears throat> Very sad indeed that these uh, hostages are dying as a result. And, and, and clearly, Israel, they, they no doubt created Hamas. They, they're the ones calling the shots there. But this carnage that is going on in Gaza right now is turning the tables. Doesn't matter who controls Hamas, it's turning the tables. And now, these hostages are at greater risk than ever before, especially with Israel's indiscriminate carpet bombing of the entire region. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.